Good evening, welcome to the Illinois Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with us this evening. Remember during these sessions that you can use the Q&A button to ask any questions to our presenters at all. Also, don't forget that your camera microphone is off and so the only way to communicate with them will be through the Q&A button as well. This event will be recorded and you can see the recording at strivescan.com backslash Illinois. And please don't forget to sign up for other sessions this evening as well. So that's all the housekeeping things I need to do for right now. Let's get this event going. First up, we're gonna have University of Alabama at Birmingham. All right, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Kaylee Havens, and I'm the Associate Director of Regional Recruitment here at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. If you're not familiar with UAB, we are a four-year public school located in the heart of downtown Birmingham. UAB spans 100 city blocks, but our undergraduate portion is only 19 city blocks. We are considered mid-size with just over 22,500 students total. Now we offer tons of experiential learning opportunities for our students with the largest opportunity being undergraduate research. You can start as early as your freshman year and over one third of our student population actually participates in research each year. We also own and operate five hospitals on our campus, including a level one trauma hospital, a children's hospital, a VA hospital, and UAB hospital is actually the third largest public hospital in the country. Now, Birmingham is home to over 40,000 different businesses, and with those businesses comes really strong community partnerships. So we're actually a founding partner of the largest small business incubator in the South called Innovation Depot. So if you've ever wanted to start your own company, we actually have 60 students who have graduated with degrees, as well as being the CEO of their own company. Now with those hospitals, you'd guess that we're probably most well known for our health sciences, but we have other great degrees as well. So our College of Arts and Sciences is where you're going to find our joint school of medicine programs, including our newest major, which is cancer biology. We're the only school in the US to offer this at an undergraduate level right now. Our Collat School of Business is going to house your general business and marketing degrees, including a unique degree called industrial distribution with an emphasis in supply and medical distribution. Our School of Education has produced six out of the past nine Alabama State Teachers of the Year, and this is where you'll find kinesiology. So if you want to be an athletic trainer, this is going to be your school here at UAB. Our School of Engineering has six engineering degrees to choose from, including biomedical, civil, electrical, mechanical, and our newest degree of engineering design. These all have a fifth year master's option. Our School of Health Professions is going to have biomedical sciences and healthcare management. And then our School of Public Health is gonna focus on awareness and prevention. And that also includes a fifth year master's option. Now our School of Nursing is actually ranked top 15 in the country, and we house something called the Dean's Nursing Scholars Program. So if you come to us with a 3.2 GPA, a 25 ACT, or a 1210 SAT, you'll actually be accepted into our nursing school as a freshman. Now I like to show photos of student life. Obviously it's pre-COVID because you don't see a mask in sight, but we do have 18 division one student ath athletic programs. We also have 26 Greek organizations, study abroad on every continent, um, 300 plus clubs and organizations and a really strong student government. So you can get academics and student life all on one campus. And if you're interested in applying to UAB, our application is still open for fall 2021. We are test optional for this year. We have not made a decision for future years, but you can apply online or via the Common App. If you apply with test scores, we just need your application, that $40 application fee, your transcript and test scores. If you're test optional, we just need that application fee, the application and your transcript. Now keep in mind that we do have guaranteed scholarships that come to you based on your GPA and test scores. Our out-of-state tuition is only 25,500. 25, so if you're at this highest level, you're actually getting really close to full tuition covered. If you apply test optional, we're looking at your GPA combined with your strength of curriculum. So schedule a meeting with me and I will walk you through all of these steps. Another benefit of chatting with me is that I will walk you through any additional financial opportunities, including Be Smart, which is our institutional hub for scholarships. And we are offering in-person tours along with virtual tours and self-guided tours. You can customize and personalize this tour using the link that you see here or through scheduling a meeting with me. 
This is my information that I'll leave up on the screen. Again, I am gonna be the admissions counselor that works with the entire state of Illinois. Um, so please feel free to reach out at any time and follow us on social media. We are hosting an entire month of events just for admitted students called Becoming a Blazer. And you can check out all of those through our Instagram Live or connecting with us on Facebook or Snapchat. Thank you guys for joining tonight and I hope you have a great rest of the presentation. All right, hello everyone. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, my name is Bridget Miller. I'm from Regent University. Um, I'm also joined by my colleague Mackenzie here to help answer questions as well, um, if there are any questions in the Q&A feature. If you've never heard of Regent, we're a four-year private Christian university. Um, we're located in Virginia Beach, so we're coastal Virginia. Um, we're about 15 minutes away from the boardwalk, and we also have a lot of our programs online as well. Um, we are open to campus tours right now. We welcome you to schedule one of those tours and see our gorgeous campus whenever you can. We offer over 135 different programs of study. Uh, this goes all the way from certificates to associates, um, all the way up through doctoral programs. And then for those students who want to expand their knowledge using more of a classical approach, we also have an honors college as well. Um, in total, we have about 11,000 students at Regent. Um, 4,400 of those are undergraduates, but that includes both online and on-campus students. So if you're looking to live and study on campus, you're looking at a community of about 1,400 students. Um, our students do represent all 50 states, 90 different countries, and then 40 different denominations. Um, so you can definitely say we have a diverse population at Regent. About 90% of our full-time faculty hold the highest degree in their discipline or a terminal degree, um, and many of them actively work in their fields, so that gives you a lot of real-world experience to learn from. And then finally, our student-to-faculty ratio is 17 to 1, uh, the small classroom dynamic that will allow you, allow you to build lasting relationships with your peers, with your professors, and receive more personalized instruction from those professors, um, and we love to say that you're not going to get lost in a large lecture hall. So at Regent, we offer our students many different resources to ensure your success, and that includes both online and on-campus students. Um, one of my personal favorites is the Office of Career and Talent Management. Um, our students and alumni can receive professional help on their resumes, learn how to interview better, find internships and jobs after graduation. And then this resource is actually available to you um, indefinitely after you graduate. So say you're a Regent graduate, 20 years after you graduate, you want to break into a new industry or you need another to look at your resume, that resource is still there for you. Student housing, all of our student housing is apartment style. Um, that means that you have a full kitchen in your residence hall. So that's a little bit different than most universities. Um, and because you have a full kitchen in your dorm, you are not required to have a meal plan. Um, so that's another um, additional benefit that cuts a little bit of the cost off of your um, tuition and fees. Um, we do have free Wi-Fi, gym and laundry in the residence halls, and we're one of the top five safest campuses in Virginia as a whole. So we realize that funding your finances or funding your education is one of the biggest factors in which school you choose. Um, at Regent, we're committed to making our education affordable. We rank in the top 5% of most affordable private Christian colleges and universities. Um, and then 86% of our undergraduate students actually receive some sort of aid, not including um, student loans, of course. Um, we have a number of institutional opportunities for aid and we encourage our uh, students to fill out the FAFSA to take advantage of federal aid. Um, and then you can also visit our website to access what we call our net price calculator. That's a really great tool for you to um, understand what your costs are going to be based on your individual circumstances. And then I will also add here, since everyone here would be an out-of-state student, we do not have out-of-state costs at Regent. So you would pay the same as a Virginia resident. <clears throat> so we understand that your college experience, it involves every aspect of life, not just the academic aspect. And Regent offers many opportunities outside of the classroom. Uh, we have over 55 student-led organizations. That's everything from surf club, um, collegiate sports, um, moot court, everything in between there. Our nine collegiate sports, we are NCCAA Division I, and we also have club and intramural sports as well. Um, we have a state-of-the-art performing arts center. You can either 
participate in several performances or you can just go watch. Um, and then finally, if you're interested in a military career or military commission, we also offer several ROTC programs and scholarships. We're one of only a handful of students with a Naval Preparatory Program as well. So as I mentioned, Regent is a coastal uh, Virginia Beach University. We're about 15, 20 minute drive from the boardwalk. Um, in the state of Virginia, there's 38 state parks, 21 national parks. So it's a perfect place to kind of explore on the weekends. Virginia is also home to several historic sites that includes um, historic Williamsburg. And we're only a few hours away from places like the Outer Banks and Washington DC if you're looking to do externships in those areas. Um, we're off, we're open for tours. Again, we would love for you to come schedule a tour to see the campus. <clears throat> and if you're unable to join us, we also have a virtual campus tour that I will put in the chat, um, a link to that, uh, that you could take advantage of. You can either apply online or call and speak with one of our admissions counselors specific for undergraduate students. Um, and they can often waive the application fee. Normally it's a $50 application fee, but if you talk to them on the phone, they're often able to waive that. Uh, so definitely take, it, take advantage of that. And then we also operate on a rolling admission. So it's not too late to apply for this upcoming fall if you haven't committed to a university yet. <clears throat> and again, I'll put that information in the chat so that you have it. And I'll also put my personal information if you would like to follow up with me afterwards. Thank you. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Alex Thomas. I have the pleasure of serving as one of the assistant directors of admissions at Georgia State University in downtown Atlanta. So if you aren't familiar with Georgia State University, uh, we are one of the fastest growing research universities in the entire nation. Uh, it is very much an urban campus. So we are located in downtown Atlanta. So you're just a few blocks away from uh, some really important and cool sites like the CNN Center, um, the state capitol building, um, also Mercedes-Benz Stadium, just to name a few. We also have roughly about a dozen different Fortune 500 companies that have headquarters or facilities within a five mile radius of our campus. It was really important whenever you're considering um, those job prospects and internships while you're a student. But we're also currently ranked as one of the top public universities for our commitment to undergraduate teaching as well. So the student to faculty ratio is about 25 to one. So you're not gonna get lost uh, at Georgia State. And we also are really uh, proudful about the fact that we are considered one of the top performers for social mobility as well. So many of our students at Georgia State come from humble backgrounds and we've been able to eliminate a lot of the achievement gaps based on certain demographics such as socioeconomic status and also ethnicity as well. So we're one of the most diverse campuses in the entire country. Uh, we have students coming from over 150 different countries across the globe, all 50 US states and all 159 Georgia counties. There's a total of 10 different colleges and schools at the university. Uh, I'm, of course, not going to go into detail each one. We do offer over 250 different majors, though. Some of our most popular majors include film and media studies, and, and that's due to the fact that there's about a $6 billion industry um, in the city of Atlanta is quickly becoming the Hollywood of the South. Um, we also have the sixth largest business school in the entire country. So you'll see our Robinson College of Business listed there. Several of their programs, including finance, accounting, marketing, and hospitality management are ranked in the top 25 nationally, according to the U.S. News World Report. So it is what we consider a gated program. So if you were to apply to Georgia State and were admitted as an incoming freshman, you would technically be admitted as a pre-marketing student or pre-accounting student. Um, we also have lots of other options in different colleges. The thing that I appreciate is that the diversity at Georgia State is not only limited to our students, but also our academic offerings as well. And there's not a lot of pressure to choose a major once you come in as a freshman. We have a total of 16 NCAA Division I athletic teams at Georgia State. Um, you'll see a picture here of what is now Center Park Stadium. It was formerly known as Turner Field when it was the home of the Atlanta Braves. And so about four years ago, the university bought the stadium and converted it to a football stadium. Um, so the cool thing is that all of our athletic events are completely free to students. So you don't actually have to pay for it. It's already including your tuition and fees. We have a little under 6,000 students currently living on campus. We have six residence halls altogether. 
Three of those residence halls are reserved for freshmen and each freshman residence hall has a dining hall on the first floor. So you don't have to leave your building, grab something to eat. And that does include a 24 hour dining service. I do have a short video just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek to campus housing. Now, moving along to the admissions process at Georgia State, this is the average freshman profile. Um, keep in mind, we are test optional for fall 2021. Um, we actually just extended our application deadline to May 1st. So if you're still looking uh, for a plan for this fall, uh, it's not too late to apply. But for students who are submitting test scores, you can see the average SAT and ACT scores listed there. We do only consider your core classes when we calculate your GPA for admissions purposes. In that right column, you'll see the average profile for our honors college. So the honors college is a little bit more competitive and I typically advise students to make sure they apply early action to Georgia State to get the best consideration for honors. So as I mentioned before, we did extend our application deadline to May 1st. Um, this uh, timeline will look a little different next year. So we adjusted it this uh, year due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, um, but definitely make sure to submit your common application if you're a rising senior before November 15th. That's typically our priority deadline each year, and that'll give you the best consideration, not only for our Honors College, but also some of our top merit scholarships as well. Speaking of which, for students who live outside of Georgia, we do offer something called the Campus Atlanta Scholarship, which can weigh 50% or 100% of your out-of-state tuition portion. Um, that typically gives you a savings of roughly about $21,000 per year. So it is a, a drastic difference between in-state and out-of-state tuition. In order to qualify for that out-of-state waiver, uh, is typically based on academic merit. So I would encourage you to submit that Common App early and the Common App is the only application that we have available uh, right now. And then typically uh, advise you to send in at least one recommendation letter um, and then also your SAT or ACT scores as well. All of the um, merit scholarships that you see in the middle category, those range between 500 to $3,000 per year. And the first two scholarships listed under academic scholarships, um, those are awarded to a very small number of students each year. Presidential is the top award that incoming freshmen can receive. So it is a full ride scholarship. And Coca-Cola First Gen Scholarship is for students who are the first in their families to attend college. And if you have any questions moving forward, um, that is our uh, website. Just feel free to go to welcome.gsu.edu. We have plenty of virtual visit opportunities, or you can feel free to uh, email me at wthomas23 at gsu.edu. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kimberly Clark, and I am one of our senior assistant directors of recruitment at the University of Arkansas. Um, the University of Arkansas is the flagship of the state of Arkansas research, undergraduate research-based university. We have just under 28,000 total students and have about around 5,000 incoming freshmen each fall. Uh, one of the things I love about Arkansas is that 50% of our incoming freshmen are from out of state. Um, so outside of majority of the bordering states like Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, um, California, and Illinois are our next most populated state. So you definitely wouldn't be the only student coming from the Midwest. Um, we are located in the heart of Fayetteville. Um, our downtown is 
runs right up through campus, Dixon Street. Um, so very walkable from campus. Um, we're in the heart of the Ozark Mountains in Northwest Arkansas. So if you like the outdoors, tons of things to do outside, hiking, biking, rock climbing, camping, fishing, canoeing, basically anything but surfing. Um, we are top 25 schools for outdoor activity. Um, Fayetteville itself has been ranked in the top five best cities to live in by US News and World Report the previous past four years and this year we were in the top 10 so overall in the past five years we've been ranked in the top 10 best cities to live in so coming to a very unique place and if you're able to visit campus you'll be able to see why. Oh. Sorry, I just realized that my slideshow wasn't on. Let me get to that. <laughs> Now it's frozen. Okay, there we go. Oh, missed a slide. Okay, sorry. Um, so as you can see on the map, uh, where we are located in the heart of Northwest Arkansas, um, if you're from the Chicago area, we do have direct flights from O'Hare to our regional airport. So it's an hour and a half plane ride. Um, and then a 25 minute drive down to campus. If you're from Southern Illinois, it could be about five or six hours. Um, if you want to drive from Northern Illinois, it could be about nine, 10 hours. So it just depends on how you want to get to campus. Um, but lots of different options for you. Um, lots to do in the area. We have Crystal Bridges uh, American Art Museum. It is actually free. A majority of the museum is free for the public. They do have certain exhibits where um, you can pay extra, but it's a beautiful area up in Bentonville, Arkansas. If you're into biking, we have our Razorback Greenway, which has over 36 miles of biking trails. Um, lots to do on the water, the Buffalo National River. Um, we do have a farmer's market downtown, outdoor mall. Um, we have the AMP where we have several different concerts that are outdoors. So lots of things going on in Northwest Arkansas. We are a very traditional Southern school. One of the other things that I love about Arkansas, um, lots of school spirit, Greek life, student organizations. Uh, we do have over 400 student organizations. About 30% of our um, student body is Greek. So I love that it is definitely an option at Arkansas, but if you aren't interested in going Greek, you know, you definitely won't feel misplaced either. Um, as far as academics go, we do have over 200 degree programs to choose from, ranging from six academic colleges. Um, our College of Business is probably our most popular. Um, we are a top 30 public business school in the country. Uh, we are home to the largest retailer in the world. Where are my Walmart shoppers? Um, we're home to Walmart's headquarters and they have a rule. Anyone that does business with Walmart actually has to have an office in Northwest Arkansas. So we are home to over 325 of the Fortune 500 companies and over 4,000 individual businesses. So lots of internship and career opportunities. Our next popular academic college is gonna be engineering. We have nine core types of engineering that we offer for students. Um, we have a freshman engineering program where they actually rotate you through each of the core types of engineering that we offer and kind of expose you to the whole field before you you have to select a major. We have our College of Education, Health Professions, um, our Fulbright College of Arts and Sciences, we have a School of Architecture, and then we also have our College of Agriculture. If you're interested in the Honors College, we have one of those as well. Um, it is automatic admission if you meet our minimum GPA and test scores for that. Um, overall, we do have an 18 to 1 student faculty ratio or average class size 40 4% of all the classes that we offer have less than 20 students. Um, so even though we are a bigger university, you still can have that smaller feel um, in the classes. We are division one in the SEC conference, go hogs. Um, like I said, a lot of school spirit. Um, we have a Razorback all access pass where um, it's $85 a year and that gets you into every home game that we have. There's no lottery system um, for our home events. So you can go to football, basketball, baseball, gymnastics, you name it, you can attend any of our events for free. Well, if you pay the $85 um, all access fee. One of my favorite traditions that we have is called senior walk. So when you graduate from the University of Arkansas, um, they actually etch your name in stone. So um, it takes about a year for that to happen, but we have over four miles of our graduate names um, that you'll see throughout campus. So it's a pretty unique tradition. If you're interested in studying abroad, we do have a top five study abroad program. We actually have a campus in Rome that you can study at as well, um, which today they announced that the campus is opening up again for May. So that's exciting. 
As far as our admission process, we are test optional for this year as well as next year. We do automatic admission if you have a minimum 3.0 GPA and a 20 on the ACT, um, but we do have a sliding in index that you can see um, as far as test optional, test flexible, and then test required. We also, along with admission, um, we have an automatic scholarship that we offer for students. It's called our non-resident tuition award. We waive up to 90% off the difference of in-state and out-of-state tuition. Um, so it's just based on your GPA. In a normal year, um, we do require test scores for it, but this year and next year, we will not require test scores. We also have additional scholarships that you can apply for, which is a separate application, and they are stackable on top of this scholarship. If you have any questions moving forward, please feel free to take a picture of my slide and feel free to contact me. Thank you and have a good evening. Okay, good evening, everybody. Thank you guys for joining us. So my name is Devin and I'm a representative from the Savannah College of Art and Design. And we are actually the most diverse art and design university in the nation with over 100 different degree programs. So everything from animation to architecture, interior design, industrial design, film, fashion, photography, video game design. We have social strategy and management if you want to be a social media mogul. We have the business of beauty and fragrance if you want to do marketing specifically for beauty. Whatever it is that you like to do for fun, chances are it translates into a major and then, of course, into a really amazing career. We have had students go on to work for just about everybody from Disney, Marvel, Pixar, Universal to Google, IBM. We actually have several students working for NASA, including a fashion designer who's helping to make better spacesuits. And we have several graphic designers who work for both the CIA and some for the CDC. And they take all of the information coming in domestically and abroad and translate it into visuals so that we can all kind of understand what these numbers mean. <laughs> so you can be an artist with some of the highest level government clearance. So really, we're here to just let you know that anything is really possible within the arts. So a little bit more about SCAD. We do have about 15,000 students across our three campuses, Savannah, Atlanta, and Lacoste, France, as our study abroad. Uh, we do have students from all 50 states and actually about 100 countries. 25% of our students are international, so you get to learn just as much from them as you do from the faculty and staff. And so these are all of our different majors. So you can design shoes and bags with accessory design. You can design cars and yachts in industrial design. And we even have themed entertainment where you can design theme parks. So again, whatever you love to do. And you can actually double major and even triple minor. So you can kind of have a choose your own adventure book of really amazing programs to pick from. And we do have several programs that are nationally and internationally ranked. Our animation program is one of the best in the country and arguably in the world. We have 2D, 3D, stop motion animation. We have voice acting classes and motion capture devices. And we are actually the third largest provider of animators to Pixar. So Pixar regularly comes visiting to campus. We also have game design and that covers everything from board games through to the latest AR and VR technology. We also have a lot of programs that you wouldn't immediately associate with art and design. So we have user experience where you actually develop apps. We have service design. We have um, industrial design, which is like the fun side of engineering. So engineers build an engine, industrial designers design the car, yacht, motorcycle, et cetera, that that engine goes into. And the most important takeaway for SCAD is our employment rate. So 99% of our 2019 graduating class was employed seeking for their education or both within just 10 months of graduating. And 91% were purely employed within a creative field. So it's not like we counted somebody who got a job at you know, Michaels or Panera or something. You really are doing what you studied and doing what you love. And chances are you've seen some of the work of our famous alums. We actually had about 250 alumni nominated for Emmys just this year. Uh, they worked on shows like Stranger Things and The Mandalorian, Rick and Morty. It's like a huge list. If anybody wants it, I'll email it to you. <laughs> um, 
the top motorcycle production designer from Honda is a SCAD grad. Taylor Swift's Lover album was photographed entirely by a SCAD grad. Really, the list does kind of go on and on. <laughs> and we have a very unique program called SCAD Pro, where companies like these and others actually hire SCAD to solve a real world problem. So it is a class and an internship basically at the same time that you can participate in so that you can actually have companies like these and others on your resume before you graduate. So we've done a car with customizable 3D printed parts for BMW. We've helped to design the interiors of planes for Delta. And we actually designed the Star Wars themed hotels for Disney. So again, anything is possible. We do also have a number of campuses for you to explore. So Atlanta is of course a huge urban environment. You're surrounded by Fortune 500 companies and it is actually the largest filming location uh, in the country, really. Um, so everybody films here. Netflix shoots here, Marvel, Tyler Perry, Turner Broadcasting. So it's a really amazing opportunity to get on set. Lacoste is our study abroad, which is a medieval village in the south of France. Uh, it even comes complete with the field of sunflowers that Van Gogh painted, so there's no lack of inspiration here. And we also take you to Paris for a week, so you basically just get to live in a Disney movie for a quarter. For Savannah, it is our largest campus. We have about 70 buildings in the National Historic Landmark District, most of which are really cool historical buildings. We also host many of our signature events here, including the um, film festival. We actually just did our game festival. We have an animation festival. We do actually have athletic teams. So there are a number of sports, of course, that happen in Savannah. There's always something going on. And as for e-learning, anywhere in the world that you want to go or get an internship, or if you want to start at home and then segue onto campus, you're more than welcome to. Uh, we actually had a photo student complete her entire degree from Antarctica. So totally up to you. We also have a number of programs where you can earn college credit now while still in high school for half tuition. And just a little bit about the application process. We're on rolling admission, so there are no deadlines, which is always nice. <clears throat> the initial application is only about 10 minutes. People have done it on their phone and we have scholarship based on your grades starting at about a 3.0 GPA and then on your portfolio which is whatever is your absolute best work. So I'll put my information and everything in the chat if you guys have any questions, but hopefully we'll get to see you on campus soon. All right, hello everyone. My name is Ananaya and I'm the Chicago Regional Admissions Counselor for the University of Kentucky. So let's go ahead and delve in and talk and learn a little bit more about UK. So the University of Kentucky is located in Lexington, Kentucky. We are in the second largest city in the state and we're a large four-year public institution. Our total enrollment sits at roughly about 30,000 and then our undergraduate population is about 22,000 total. We offer over 200 academic programs. So we have everything from agriculture and equine programs to education, psychology, and the natural sciences. Some of our most popular programs are business, engineering. Students also love to study business, psychology. You'll see a lot of students studying the health sciences, biology, chemistry, and again, that's just to name some of the popular ones, um, but we do offer so many great opportunities. Another thing that we do offer are exploratory studies programs for students. So what this means is that you can study in a certain college or department and be undecided without having to really decide exactly that moment when you apply what you'll be studying. So you can be exploratory studies in the College of Business or any of the other programs that offer that as well too. Our student to faculty ratio sits at 16 to one. And then you'll see roughly about 85% of our classes having 50 students or less, but our average classroom size does sit at 19 students total. I always do like to mention as well that the University of Kentucky also is one of eight institutions in the country that offers a full complement of liberal arts, 
professional engineering, agricultural, and medical colleges and disciplines all on one campus. So we have a ton of opportunities for our students from our university farms to our hospital systems. So we really give you lots of hands-on experience and opportunities to expand after your bachelor's degree as well too. We also can't talk about the University of Kentucky without talking about athletics. We compete in the SEC or the Southeastern Conference and we are division one as well too. We offer 22 varsity sports and there is so much school spirit on our campus, whether that be at baseball games or football games or our basketball team as well too. You'll have a lot of fun sitting in the eruption zone and cheering on the Wildcats while you're at one of the games. I always like to talk about where we're located because it offers such a unique experience for students. So as I mentioned, we're located in Lexington, Kentucky, and Lexington is the second largest city in the state. The city itself is right next to campus. It's maybe within a two to three block radius, so it's super close by. There's tons of amazing restaurants, there's shops, there's businesses, so it offers a little bit of everything for you just within a quick walk into the city itself as well. Another thing I always like to know too is that it is the horse capital of the world. So you have this really cool history of horse racing and the beautiful horse farms as well. And you have Keeneland racing tracks so that you can go and watch the ponies race in the fall and in the spring during racing season. I wanna make sure to touch up upon the application process. One thing to note, which is an exciting announcement is that we have decided to extend our test optional policy for the next three years. So if you are a rising senior, a sophomore, or of course, if you are a freshman, you can definitely plan on applying test optional. Our application does open up in August, so you can apply using common application, coalition application, or the application on our website. And you'll just wanna make sure that you submit your high school transcripts and your test scores if you are choosing to submit those to us. We also have tons and tons of opportunities for students to get involved. We have over 550 clubs and organizations, as well as Greek life. About 25% of our students are involved in Greek life. So we offer everything from professional and academic related clubs and organizations to more of the fun hobby or service related clubs and organizations. So we really offer a little bit of something for every single student on our campus. We also, I will say, have I think some of the most beautiful residence halls uh, that I've ever seen. Our residence halls offer students really great opportunities to have their own living space and really personalize it and customize it. So you have everything for a four, four person suite all the way down to a four bedroom suite. Our mattresses are Tempur-Pedic, so you'll sleep very well at night. And also there's Wi-Fi and cable accessibility, so you definitely can make it as homey as possible. Lastly, I do want to mention we are currently offering campus tours, so you can visit campus Monday through Friday. I definitely recommend scheduling them in advance as we are doing limited group sizes due to COVID, so definitely come down and visit us or check out our virtual tours. You also can do a virtual program and learn about a specific major or college that you're looking to study, and those are also really great opportunities to learn more about the University of Kentucky. And I work with all the students in Illinois, so please don't, do not hesitate to contact me. Again, my name is Anna Naya, and thank you all so much. College representatives, that was some great information that you shared with us. And for the people attending, we have one more thing we want to do before we let you go, give you some wonderful knowledge to grow on before you leave us. And by doing that, we want to have the representatives answer this question in order of the way you present it tonight. What advice would you give someone going through the college search process? We'll start off first with UAB. Yeah, so I would highly recommend visiting. And I know every school that's spoken today has um, talked about the importance of actually coming to their campus. Um, I am a firm believer in that. I think you want to make sure that when you're physically there, that you can look around and see yourself at that school for the next two to four years, whatever you're seeking for your college destination. Um, but without actually visiting, you won't get that experience. So take the virtual tour, but please try to actually get on that physical campus before you make your college decision. 
Uh, my advice for somebody going through the college search process and the application process um, is to not tell us what you think we want to hear, whether that be in an interview or in an application essay. Um, it's usually pretty transparent when it happens, and we want to get to know you as a student um, as a whole and not just what you think we want to hear. Uh, I think the best advice I could give to someone going through the search process is just to listen to the advice of college admissions professionals, listen to the advice of your school counselors, your teachers, your parents, family members. Um, I think too often I come across students who typically make their college decision off hearsay or what they saw on social media or what they saw on Reddit. And sometimes that's not always the best advice or um, actual factual information. Uh, so I would definitely suggest to make sure you go to the source of, of the information for the college, which would be college admissions professionals. I would have to agree with uh, visiting if you can, um, but I would also say a lot of times at college fairs, I'd have students walk by and be like, oh, you're too far, too far. Um, and I would say there's a lot of great schools here um, that presented this evening and we're all kind of across the map. So, you know, don't limit yourself um, to a drive, a day drive or a five hour drive and, you know, research your schools. If something interests you, apply and see, you know, where it can take you. And you might end up somewhere that you thought you wouldn't have ended up originally. Yeah, and as everyone has mentioned, you know, we are here for you guys. Like this is our job is to actually help you make this decision. So I know like we offer one-on-ones, I'm sure just about every other school does. So if there's a school you're interested in, make an appointment to meet with one of those reps and really hear about the major that you're interested in, the campus, you know, whatever it is, we're here to help you. And the other research you can do for yourself is then look into the program you want to go into and see if alumni from that school are, are doing what it is that you're interested in. If they're actually working for companies that you're also targeting to make sure that that school is the right place to get you to that trajectory. My advice for students going through the application process and college search process is to create a brag list. So what this means is you're essentially going to go through everything that you've been involved in from your freshman year to your sophomore year, junior, what you're going to be involved in in your senior year, um, but go through everything you've done. And that could be working a part-time job, clubs and organizations, volunteer work, service work, um, if you've received awards or recognition or had leadership opportunities, write all of this down and have it organized and ready for your college application. Because I promise you, it will make it so much easier to put all of that information once it's organized on your college application. So definitely is going to take some time to write that out. Also ask your parents to go through it with you too. Uh, your parents love to brag about you and to really be proud of you. So have them go through and look at it and definitely make sure that you've gotten everything that you've done all throughout your time in high school in there. Those are great season knowledge that you gave everyone this evening. Thank you all so much for that. And also thank you all for coming this evening and joining us as well. When you close this window, there will be a quick four question survey that you'll fill out. Also, don't forget to sign up for more sessions this evening as well. And remember, this session is recorded and it will be available for you at strivescan.com backslash Illinois. Reps, thank you so much for giving your time this evening. I so appreciate it so much for you and I'm sure the participants do as well. Thank you all also for coming to hang out with us as well. And everyone, please have a great evening. Thank you all so much. Have a great one.